is uh, Chuck Bashan. I uh, teach at Kent State University and I'm an oil and pastel painter uh, who lives in Medina, Ohio, which is about 30 miles or so south of Cleveland. I'm in my studio right now and I'm living on part of my father's farm that uh, I have been painting from or drawing from for over 40 years. These drawings and paintings, which you'll see around you at some point, I began this as a diary of um, looking at places that I worked on as a, as a youth and uh, eventually started to draw from. And these paintings and drawings eventually evolved into, rather than just specific places, documents of these places, the meditations on color, light, space, and the, the, the immediacy of the gesture of working outside, which is how I begin to work. I, I, I go out in early morning or in the evening when the light has a certain intensity and dynamic to it, and I begin drawings. And because the light is so transient, and it changes so quickly, uh, I have to uh, work immediately and quickly, and it's less about details more about this big picture, broad strokes, movements, and recording the direction of the light and how it changes from moment to moment and certainly from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. As a teacher, I told my students last year something that I, I read that Picasso had said that I found was important. And that, I think they all got something out of it. And among the many things that Picasso said, he said, he said, learn the rules like a pro so you can break them as an artist. And I think that's, you know, that sort of encapsulates every artist's um, method of working and, and their, in the body of their work they begin in one way and eventually it sort of distills itself in, down into something more vital and more compact. And I think that's certainly the truth and, and, the, and the rule with me too, is that while they began as sort of just representations of these places, um, I began to develop a sense of, you know, affinity for the color and the light rather than, you know, incidental things about, about the landscape, these places less about the places and more about some overall feeling and more importantly my feeling and my relationship to it. And I work uh, in, in, in many things at the same time, some of them are done, some of them are not. But I think I, what I need, what I'm really looking to do is find some DNA that connects them all together. And that's why I do so much work and, and, and work so often in different things, in different times of the year, in different times of the day. And there's something from one painting and drawing that may connect it to another. So I see them all as, you know, a big body of work, one piece, essentially, rather than a bunch of little pieces. And what can be arrived at in one can be instrumental in finding a direction and maybe a solution in another.